Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Today we are heading out to a couple of different stores looking for clearance garden items. So let's go ahead and get started. I do. We should make ones, except we should have like a little snail in it. Or like something mainly that we can watch over. Like a pet, but we don't have to feed it or anything. We just look at it. I really like that pillow. It's so cute.
right here. Couple slits are cracked. Definitely not. So we made it back home from Walmart and I'm gonna share with you guys what I got. Um, but before we do that, let me give you a little tour around my living room because I've been rearranging things and getting rid of plants. Um, I mentioned earlier this year that I've kind of, I had too many. I had too many plants and a lot of them weren't really doing anything for me. So I have been like weeding things down, rearranging stuff. And then come winter time, um, I don't have too much to like care for in it. Like my hair is bothering me. Anyways, we've been in the heat and the wind and all the elements today. Anyways, let me show you this room. So in this corner right here, um, this is typically where I would film a video, like a haul and share it with you guys. This is the corner where I had a piano and I had all my plants all over the piano so i ended up moving the piano it is across the room but i added my um buffet here that i got a couple years ago um, from an antique store and i think it looks so good um the piano's kind of sorry the lighting is changed yes ma'am yes hi okay um the piano's very like boxy blocky so i moved it out of that corner now this corner feels so open and just like empty because i had so many plants over here so this used to sit there and then i had another small table here and i had just plants all over the floor um i had plants at the back of the couch here um behind here and a lot of that stuff got moved around or it got rehomed, or if it had any sort of issue or pest, it got composted. So this is what, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the lighting is horrible. Let me back up out of this room. We're just gonna have to take the video as is. So now it looks so much more open and empty um, in this space. And I'm loving all of the empty spaces, all of the empty space in here. Um, I can go a while with a home that feels sort of cluttered but excuse me after a while like I have to gut it out like I cannot have all of this stuff in my way I need I need openness in the more cluttered spaces so this is as cluttered as I'll let this get for now with plants I'm not talking about like junk and things like that <clears throat> I don't really keep like knickknacks and things like that um, the the thing that I have the most of are plants. So debulking this area has been so good for me. So let's turn this way. This is the rest of the room. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm been out with my allergies are acting up. So this is where the piano went and I kept a few plants on it, but I think it looks a lot better against this wall. Um, as opposed to in this little corner here with the window. Um, I like it here and I like how there aren't that many plants on it so that the people in the house that want to play the piano can actually play the piano. Um, but prior to me putting plants all over the piano, they weren't playing it. Um, nobody really thought about the piano. And then now that the it's free to use, everybody's been on it and just, yeah it's driving me a little bit crazy but you know it's okay so 
those are the two major things that I changed in this room. I do plan to get a new couch and a new rug. Look, now she's finally settling down. Hopefully she'll um, let me finish this video without screaming at me. But I plan to get a new rug and a new couch. I'm really looking for a couch that kind of has like an antique feel, but it's like heavy duty so people can flop on it and it not budge, you know? And then potentially have like um, a chaise piece to it or ottoman, something like that. Cause I want this room to feel comfortable. And the couch that I have here, <clears throat> excuse me if you sit on it like you know how kids and people just kind of flop down you kind of just let all your weight go onto the couch well if you do that on this couch this couch will move and the legs are kind of peg like so i'm afraid that um one day they're they're gonna break or give out or this bottom piece will break through and i just don't want that to happen to this couch I want something that is sturdier, um, big, big and lower to the ground, big enough to fit on a rug this size, you know what I mean? And then um, sturdy to handle the weight of people just flopping down on the couch. I want it to feel comfy in here um, and cozy. So this is the rest of the room. Um, looks pretty good. This shelf, has a lot of plants on it um, but I have gotten rid of so many things I'm just keeping kind of the stuff that um, I want to see grow big I want to see like that things that I'm excited about so that's what's what's on that shelf and if something happens to no longer you know excite me then it will get rehomed all right, so now let's look at what I found at Walmart. So I went to three different Walmarts over the course of two days and they all had varying things on clearance. Um, none of like the same things were on clearance or had the same prices. So um, I tried to show you guys all the stuff that I saw on clearance so that you could start looking at your stores and hopefully see some great deals there as well. Um, but today's stores i did find um some good stuff so let me start with i'll start with these they were so cheap they were just over a dollar fix this now these are plastic urns and my idea by getting these i was hoping to um do some kind of like fall display like um artificial possibly to have inside the house or if I wanted to do something that is you know using real plants then I might put these out on the front porch but I thought they were cute and I was planning on um, painting them a different color spray painting them maybe black or some other color that I can find that I think is um, pretty in the stores but yeah these are super cheap perfect for a Pinterest craft next up I found some super cute plant stands here is the Archie plant stand and I got this actually I got two of them from the Walmart today and the Walmart that I went to yesterday um, had these but they were not on clearance so these were like three bucks 350 um, and super cheap so I know these are gonna get a lot of use here in my house because I have so many um, larger plants that I don't necessarily like to sit on the floor so having a stand will be super cute for them okay so the first Walmart that I went to today had so much pottery on sale so I had to grab some there were tons of things just so many things that were just so cheap and I could have gotten I wanted to get everything but I managed to hold myself back because I am trying to cut back on having plants but having new pots kind of makes me excited about the plants that I have um so let's look at those pots all right so I got two of these here how cute is this I love this color it's so pretty 
I'm not sure what that writing is on there, but these are by Better Homes and Gardens and the color is Kyrian or it's called Kyrian. Let me see if they have a name for this color. No, I don't see a specific name for this color, but this pot is called Kyrian and it's footed and it's super cute. And it has a plug in it here that you just push that out and there's your drainage hole. Here's the second one, so cute. So here's another, I actually already have a pot like this, but I love them so much. So I got one of these. This is the Fisher Planter, it is eight inch. And by the way, the green ones were six inches. It's eight inch. Has a plug for a drain hole, you just pop that out. And I actually have a plant in this container right now. And then I have a green one of these that's much bigger um, and it's in the basement. It doesn't have a plant in it right now, but this is so cute. I love this style. Okay, so I got another set of matching containers and these ones are probably my favorite. They're so cute, so pretty. Look at that. And green again. Let's see, is there a name on this? Emery Planter. Yep, and it's so pretty. I love the color of this. Isn't that gorgeous? Here's the second one. Gorgeous, I love these low planters, they're so pretty. I don't think I've said that they're pretty enough, but they just really are. Um, hopefully I can find two, two similar plantings for this, or maybe these would look good with an amaryllis or some um, paper whites in them, the bulbs. Um, it's almost that season, so if you have amaryllis that you've overwintered uh, from last season or just kept growing, um, it's time to put them into um, lower temperatures and lower light to help them to be able to bloom again for you. Or it could be time for you to start ordering your new bulbs or um, your stores probably in the next, probably around October will have some of those amaryllis bulbs hitting the store. So definitely be on the lookout for those. That's something that's coming down the pipeline, amaryllis, um, paper whites, all those bulbs that you can force to bloom for you indoors. It's, 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 it's sad to say, but our season is starting to come to an end and the re at least retail wise, they're starting to usher in um, all the fall stuff and then soon it'll be winter. Um, sad, but that's just how it is. So I did grab a few other things. Um, I got, and this is not plant related, but I got a dog collar for two bucks for my Chihuahua. Um, we're having a hard time finding stuff that fits him because he's so small. And then they also have their like tools on clearance. So the tools made by Expert Gardener at Walmart are 50 cents each. Um, these ones, um, my little one picked out. So these are her tools, but I just wanted to let you guys know that the tools are on sale also. I did buy myself some new pruners because my pruners are so bad. Um, I need to sharpen them and like oil them up and things like that, and which I'll do when I get around to it, but I grabbed these guys, they look heavy duty. And they also were on clearance. Now for the most important, the reason that I actually went to all these Walmarts was because I was looking for that dollar or $2 bag of soil. And I'm sad to report that I did not find any, like none, none of the stores had their soil that low priced. Um, the first Walmart that I went to yesterday um, doesn't didn't even carry the pro mix in the red and black bag, which is my favorite go-to soil. Um, they have not had it all year, that Walmart. And then the other two Walmarts that I visited today, um, one store had it and it was like 13 bucks. I think I, 
you saw it in the video and then another store didn't have it at all so i'm hoping that in the next few weeks they will lower the price of that soil at that particular walmart and then in that case i will be there to clean up and take everything that they have or whatever's left um that soil that i bought last year was so helpful to me i filled my raised beds with it i repotted plants i started seeds in it like i use every single bag that i bought that time it it did not go to waste at all it was all used so i'm hoping to hit hit a deal like that again um so i'm going to be on the lookout you guys definitely be on the lookout for that clearance soil at your walmart's thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to check your clearance sections bye